if you are a person who uses internet frequently, chances are you have come across these pictures. Funny but sad. It goes ahead to show how insensitive humans have become, sometimes preferring to satisfy their curiosity at the expense of those in need, even hindering professional service providers from performing their life-saving duties. However, strangers have in a number of occasions turned out to be the lifesavers one would never have thought of. Consider this man who was knocked by a speeding vehicle along Mudithi Road just outside the National Museums of Kenya. He was fortunate to have the right combination of strangers who contributed whatever they had from encouraging words and moral support to him as well as advice to those around on the best ways possible to handle the situation. Quickly, the Good Samaritans plan for an evacuation to the nearest hospital. And just as they are finalizing preparations on the makeshift ambulance, like a hero, this doctor who we are later to know as Dr. Alex Gikambi shows up miraculously, stops them and gives them a vital lesson in evacuating accident survivors. Never touch them unless you are trained as a first aider as you could expose them to more danger. Dr. Gikambi, who was just in his normal routine when he saw the group of kind-hearted Kenyans attending to the survivor, decides to offer his much-needed help. Immediately, the work to save a stranger's life begins and each person gets down to business, assigning themselves specific roles to help him. Can somebody call an ambulance? Can somebody call an ambulance? Can you call an ambulance, please? However, there is a challenge, as finding an ambulance to take him to hospital proves to be quite a task. The ones that pass by seem to be on a totally different mission, with some simply saying no. It takes the effort of Dr. Gikambi and the traffic police, who arrive at the scene half an hour later, to force a government ambulance into carrying the survivor. <laughs> Yes, yes, but a public vehicle. Not a public. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. This is an accident scene. By the time everyone gets back to their busy schedule, at least a life is saved. Eric Munene, GBS.